Good evening, Mr. Ben. Um, Hello. Yeah, have you, have you been on, interviewed on hospital radio before? Yes, I have, because there's a hospital radio in Chesterfield, and I do programmes for them occasionally, oh, and right. I really enjoy it. I think hospital yes. radio is fine. Because yeah, you also record your own uh, diary tapes, don't you? Well, I, I, reco I record my diary every night, and I will tonight when I go home, right. about this meeting. And then what's happened over the years is they've been transcribed, put on floppy disks, put on a CD-ROM, and then the BBC broadcasts some of them, just tiny mm. extracts. But uh, right. I do think for people who haven't ever thought of keeping a diary, it's worth mm. considering because it makes you go over the experience of each day, and uh, it's interesting. A lot of people find that strange, talking into a tape. As a as well, you get used to it. You're it talking down. into a tape now. I'm no. talking into a tape, so it can't be all that difficult, <laughs> can it? You must, it also must take up a lot of space as well. Please. Well, tapes don't take up a lot of space. What takes up the space? All the papers. Right. And uh, I mean, they have been printed up as well, so uh, they do take up a lot of shelves. But still, I've done it for a long time. Yeah. Also, the uh, the lectures are very interesting. Um, you, you related a lot of things um, for Morris that is relative to life today, from the post office to. Um, uh, Parliament, to all, all sorts of things. Could you give us an excerpt of some of the things for the listeners in the Well, hospital? Morris was uh, an artist who came to his socialism because he thought that the That's human true, yeah. character was uh, undermined, really, by capitalism. So it drove him towards a study of society. And he talked about everything was about profit. It is today. Things should be for use. They're not today. <laughs> he talked about global competition, which lowers wages. That's happening today. I talked about the repression of civil liberties, that's happening today. I mean, the thing about Morris, the reason we're celebrating a hundred years after his death is because what he said is so uh, uh, mm. necessary and relevant. And I think he will continue to inspire people for all time, really, like Tom Paine or, or many of the other great philosophers of history. Has he inspired you as a politician? Yes, I mean, I find myself, I get a great comfort from reading a little bit of history. I'm not a professional historian. But, as you will gather from what I was saying, what's happened in the past explains what's happening today and therefore gives you, well, uh, makes you realise that um, you're not the first person to feel how unfair it is that some people should be poor and others rich or some people should be homeless and others live in castles, do you see? Mm. So the more you study the past, the more you have confidence in your own position in the present. Right. And as well as history and politics, have you any other interests? Well, I've been in politics a very long time, and people think politics means parliamentary argy-bargy. I mean, for me, politics is about life, it's about world peace, it's about schools, it's about health, about everything, really. So when I say I'm interested in politics, it really covers the lot. Mm -hmm. And the health service, I was in Parliament when Anaran Bevan was still the Minister of Health, and he was the man who set up the health service. And I've still got at home in my archives a photocopy of the leaflet issued by the Ministry of Health in 1948 telling us that from July the 1st all the treatment and everything would be free. It was an amazing thing. So I regard that as being politics too, really. Right. And do you, do you share um, um, Morris's love of the arts? And, uh... Uh, well, I appreciate the arts, but I haven't any of his talent. I mean, what a staggering mm, man, yeah. apart from Morris the socialist, his design, his poetry, his writing, his everything about him. He was a, a, a genuine genius, and that, I think, has probably helped to keep his name alive among many people, and then the socialism follows when they read about that life. Mm. Have you any favourite types of music? Well, I'm, uh, I listen to a bit of music, but my family are very musical. I'm afraid I'm not really very musical. You haven't got a favourite piece? Well, lots of things, but it's a bit like Desert Island Disc. You know, I like <laughs> folk music, in fact. I think yeah? political folk music is what I like almost. There's uh, Leon Russelson and uh, Roy Bailey and so on. Uh, very, very, I enjoy them enormously. Right. Thanks so much. OK, good luck to uh -huh. all the patients in the hospital. Keep Thanks. the NHS going and get well soon.